Hey everybody, it's Marguerite coming at you with another money saving tip and this one has to do with uh, if your steam radiator doesn't seem to be heating up. So again, John and I live in an old house. That house is heated by steam. Uh, we're in the fall now, it's getting colder, so the steam actually goes on in the morning to warm up the house when we get up. And what I've noticed uh, for these past couple of days is that all of the radiators in the house will get hot except for the one in the bathroom right here. And so before you go and you call a plumbing and heating specialist, there's a couple of things that you can check out and probably do yourself, uh, which may solve the problem and help you save money. One of the first things you wanna do when you see that your radiator is not heating up is you wanna make sure that you actually have um, your radiator open all the way. And mine is, Again, you're gonna twist this knob all the way left. Left is loose, left is open. When you twist it all the way to the right, right is tight, <clears throat> right means closed. So I can see that mine is open. I can't really turn it anymore. And I can also see just by my uh, valve stem over here that it is up in the highest position, which means that it's open to receive the steam. So that's not my issue. Uh, you may see uh, my cat's tail in the way. He's here to say hello. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move to the other side of the radiator and that's where the release valve is. And that could be the culprit and I'm gonna tell you something, it most often is the culprit. So I am, <clears throat> earlier it, I actually did this, was I opened and I removed it and it's something that just screws into the side of the radiator and you always need to have it in the upright position like I'm showing you right now. And I kind of make sure that nothing stuck. I turned it over. I made sure that there wasn't any rust or any other sort of debris in there that might stop it from being clogged because, and let me bring it closer to you. What you see here is you have the ability to change um, how, how open or closed this valve is as well. So you open it all the way and it allows more steam to come through this radiator. You close it, you're kind of limiting the amount of steam that comes in, and that's how you regulate how hot you want your room to be. So when I uh, took this off and I shook it, I didn't really see that there was uh, anything that needed to come out, anything that was making it stick. So really what I did is I just turned my valve all the way because last year when I was using the steam, I had it about halfway and that regulated the temperature for the bathroom the way that I wanted it to be. But for whatever reason, it's not working the same way that it did last year. So I opened it all the way, put it back in. And when I woke up this morning, the, um, the, the heat was, was you know registering in the room the way that I wanted it. So now all I'm really gonna do is put it back where it belongs and I'm going to screw it back in. Don't over tighten it, just make sure that it is gonna be in the upright position. If it worked halfway at the halfway point last year and now it has to work at the full open point this year, it's starting to get compromised and it's gonna to have to be replaced. And these things, unfortunately, they don't last forever. And there's a number of different valve, um, release valves you can buy. And we found that this one was reasonably priced. I'm gonna just keep the camera on this for a second if anybody wants to see uh, the name of the brand. Um, I bought them on Amazon and I put them on every steam radiator in the house. So again, the, my tip to you is th there's, a, there's a bat when it comes to especially to steam um, radiators, there's a balancing act you have to do across all of your rooms. So we only have one thermostat and it regulates the steam radiators for both floors, the first floor and the second floor. But if we don't spend a lot of time on the second floor or we wanna keep the second floor a little cooler than the first floor, there's this balancing act that you have to go through. My recommendation is always keep your stems all the way open on the radiators and you regulate how much heat 
you're going to have come out of every radiator through these release valves. And that's why they give you that opportunity to adjust how open or closed you want them to be. And it's going to be a matter of how you live and where you want more heat in which rooms um, and be very mindful of the radiator that's closest to your thermostat. Because again, if that one heats up too fast, it's going to shut your boiler down before you get the heat going and spreading across your house the way that you want it to. So it really is a delicate balancing act and sometimes it takes a couple of days of fiddling around with each one of the radiators and your and your release valves and how open or closed you want them to be, but eventually you're going to get there. So try it yourself. Most of the time, like I said, this is the problem. And every couple of years or so, you need to replace them. It's, uh, they're like $20 and that's it. And you save yourself a big bill having a heating plumbing specialist come in to do something as simple as this. Now, if these don't work, obviously, then you need to call in a professional. But try this first. Like I said, 95% of the time for me, this has always been the problem.